What's going on guys? So I bought some steel over the weekend. I bought the wrong steel. This is 1080 by eighth inch and I was supposed to get 3 sixteenths of an inch. I had both of these added in my shopping cart, took the wrong one out and I got sent eighth inch. Oh well, so I'm gonna try and um, do some experimentation with this. Basically what I'm gonna try and do today is just rough out a, uh, an extremely rough knife blank and I'm gonna try and heat treat it without any special equipment because basically all I have is this actually i have a couple of these and i'm going to try and do <laughs> some basic heat treating with that 1080 is supposed to be like the easiest 1080 1084 is supposed to be like the easiest uh, metal to heat treat so hopefully fingers crossed we'll get lucky and we'll get a good uh, heat treatment with it and we'll go from there but i'm not gonna spend a ton of time on um, finishing something that may not turn out this is my water bucket yeah, it's it's seriously cold out here. I'm not looking forward to dealing with wet steel in 14 degree weather. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, this is gonna fog up my glasses. Glasses are all fogged up. Okay, so the blade actually hardened. I'm gonna throw it in the oven now and temper it at about 400 degrees for a couple hours. Uh, I think we'll do that for two cycles and see what it looks like. I'm gonna leave it more towards the front of the oven because last time I had it the tip towards the back and I think it got way too hot. So um, I think towards the front of the oven's a little bit cooler. At least that's what it looks like on the plate. So I guess we'll leave it sit here for a couple hours and come back and see what happens. It's cold, super cold. I can go inside, but I really don't want to leave this out here. I'm sure it'll be fine. What do I do now? It's the next day and it's still freezing out here. I got the knife all tempered. I tempered two cycles, two hours at 450 degrees and it's really ugly. So I'm gonna try and just clean the blade up a little on this belt sander. This is fun. It's sharp. So this is not your uh, average cardboard. This is like double thick. Oh, this is tough. I can feel the bleed flexing.
I mean, honestly, this is this is beyond the scope of what I would expect a knife to do. I mean, I, I would never do this. I don't think I've ever done this in real life. Thought for sure it was gonna break there. So this is after everything that we did. That's actually not, that's not bad for an uh, edge retention. I mean, that's after hammering through oak and all kinds of stuff. After everything we did, this is what. I mean, it still kind of slices paper. Yeah, I mean, that that's pretty good actually. So yeah guys, I don't know what else you'd expect out of a knife like this. I would never do this in the real world with a knife only in testing. So I think we can call this a successful test with 1080 steel. You can definitely get heat treat it and get good results at home with basic tools. Hope this was entertaining. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one.